Hello and happy Thursday, Jan Rogerud, co-founder, creative uh, director at chaosmap.com. I am splashing up the banner here right now. If you want more information, go to chaosmap.com, chaosmap.com. That is the agency that does all things digital, but primarily creative advertising, Facebook and Google. And of course, we love to do consulting and training uh, with companies and individuals, entrepreneurs uh, that have a established business already in place. And so today I am excited. Hey, have you ever heard me get on here and I'm not excited? Well, no, because it's a show. So I realized that. But man, I am excited. If you get to know me a little bit, you'll see that this is actually my personality. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you very little for that, right? That's what you're saying right now. Well, fine. Uh, I'll just keep going with this. And uh, here we are. It is a fine Thursday, a little cloudy in Los Angeles from the uh, digital studios here in the South Bay. But listen, uh, we're going to be talking about sales today and sales process. This comes up quite a bit. In fact, we launched a new client this week. They're in the professional services space. I'll leave it at that uh, kind of higher end. But ultimately, um, we were able to ramp up pretty quickly. In fact, they're uh, they're getting leads here on the very second day. We actually saw a few coming in the first day, and we launched them in under a week. And uh, you know, all of that is fine, but really, what it comes down to is expectations management around what happens when leads come in, and what happens to the sales process. You know, we can get leads and traffic all day long if they don't convert. That's an issue, and that's an issue online as it is offline, meaning if you call a professional services office like a lawyer, an accountant, you know, a realtor, uh, <clears throat> you know, med spa, plastic surgeon, doctors, you know, whatever, right? It's a professional services situation we're talking about here today. There is a sales process there, and if that's not fully vetted, and if that's not in place, and if not, there's not improvements made based on metrics, you know, you're not going to be too happy with the traffic, right? So it doesn't matter. You could pour more on the front end, your top of funnel. It's not going to help you. It'll just be more noise to your staff and to your team and to your front uh, front office there at your uh, professional services location. Okay, so let's just take a look at a couple of models here today. And I call this, you are one sales process away. Uh, you know, that whole th thing about, you know, you're one funnel away, et cetera. I mean, yeah, you know what? It, it is true that you are really just one, you know, process away for improving your sales or improving your funnels. But if you don't have this, uh, it, you know, as part of your exercise to improve it, and I mean on a daily basis, you're just going to do stuff that you do did a year ago, right? You need to improve. And, you know, there's no such thing as like just stagnant uh, behavior. Uh, well, in business that is growing, that is not the case. But if you get lazy on this, you're going to lose out. So I think I've just belabored that point enough. Let's dig in. So I have three scenarios I want to talk about today, A, B, and C, simple as that. Um, and I want to share with you a couple of models, and we work with all of these, and I'll share kind of some of our successes and some of the question marks uh, that we have around this, uh, because some clients, they will sort of force a particular process uh, you know, out there and it is not working or it's perhaps brand new and they need to improve. So we've covered that improvement part. But, um, you know, we want to answer this, which sales process is best? You know, that is an open-ended question and a bit of a loaded question, which is exactly why I'm talking about this here today. Uh, by the way, just a quick note on this. So we talk about marketing and sales. So for marketing, right, digital, uh, all that traffic, all that front end that happens, all the movements that happen on the front end, are very essential, obviously talking to the right audience, having the right message, all of the things that we all inherently know, but sort of forget uh, quite often, especially when it comes to copy and messaging. Um, uh, but then, uh, you know, as you move through the funnel, what happens in the back end and with the sales process? And again, repeating myself here, I want to make it very clear. This is professional services right here. I'm not talking e-commerce or anything like that. All right. So number A or point A here, a lead comes in. And again, we're not going to talk about traffic because we can get that all day long. But let's assume for a moment we got leads and they're steady and consistent. Okay, great. In model A, they go to a database. They simply get stored there. And then a simple example could be lead forms on Facebook. They get stored under the uh, publishing tool section on your page. Okay. 
Well, then that database is essentially stored over to your CRM, you know, pulled through Zapier, something like that. Or you're just manually going in and downloading that each day through an Excel. Hopefully you'll have Zapier and it goes to your CRM or to a Google Sheet or something like that. But it, we call this a database, right? And then you go through it or your staff goes through this and does the outbound calling, right? That's why I put call back here. So a lead comes in, they get a notification and they call that person back. And the office essentially sets that appointment. So uh, step one is the lead. Step two is the database. Step three is the outbound callback. Number four is the calendar manually booked and manually set by the office staff. And uh, finally, the office visit happens, you know, days later or uh, perhaps a week out, uh, et cetera. And that's where you get to service them <clears throat> and also uh, sell them additional services. So a chiropractor, that's a perfect model. Um, you know, doctor, et cetera. Hey, uh, you, your back needs more help. <laughs> we, we helped you a lot here today, but we have a package I think you'll benefit from. It's a six-week program, and here it is. Well, right there, I mean, I've talked about these steps here up to that point, but that is a big deal because for a chiropractor, when you go through this model A here, which we can set up for you, right? That's not that hard, right? That's easy enough to get going. But if you <clears throat> are doing a, uh, a free, you know, crack in the back, I'll call it, uh, and uh, you don't have a sales process for how to handle those patients or those prospects coming in there uh, and that they feel not only welcomed and, and not sort of the classic pushy sales pitch at that point on the from the you know used car lot kind of deal right but it's a very professional you know uh, well handled sales process well then that's exactly what I'm talking about here today it's not just about the traffic right you know a chiropractor that says hey guys I love your leads I mean in fact I might have to pause some of these because they're just coming in hard and fast well we we really want to see and hear and talk about the you know sales process in the back end so when the person gets you know the back cracked what happens after that are they handled a brochure and sent off on their way uh, are they invited to a membership area for free where they can watch additional videos and educational trainings etc very professionally handled or do they just get a business card and, hey, we'll talk to you later? I mean, there's so many variations in here. Of course, there's the human connection, the eye to eye connection. You know, somebody might feel, hey, that was a, an awesome visit and I appreciated the, the services, but I didn't like the doctor. Or, you know, it was something about the, the front office where, you know, it was very busy and I felt like I was more herded in there than anything else. I mean, there's, there's just so many variables here. And as a media buyer and as a traffic generation company, those are things we don't handle, right? Uh, or we, we don't have visibility to, but we do actually help train staff on this. That's where we can come in and improve. But how can we improve all those moving variables? Well, it starts with metrics. Do you know what the conversion rates are? So we start with the top of funnel and then we drill through. And, you know, if you're getting 100 visitors from the top and it goes to, um, you know, the database, as I said, and they call back and the conversion rate for the callback is, you know, out of 100 people, they only book 10. That's 90 people that are left out. What happens to those people? Are they just simply tire kickers not interested? Or was there something that happened at the, at the front desk there where the call wasn't handled correctly? All of these things need to be mapped out and they need to be scrutinized and they need to have a number associated with them. Typically, both a number and a percentage, right? So we can map this out. You know, imagine if somebody again comes into like a med spa, right? Or even a plastic surgeon, they come in and just get some Botox uh, done on their face, right? Maybe there was a, a free trial for, you know, uh, some cool sculpting uh, uh, devices uh, new in the marketplace, et cetera. How was that whole experience for them? And one way that you can get feedback on that is instead of just asking them, how was that? And then shoving a review in their face for Google Maps is to actually say, listen, we have a quick survey here. It's all in confidence. I really appreciate the feedback. Thanks for coming in here today. And by the way, here is a great resource for you to learn more about X, right? And then that resource is, of course, your website with a library of some videos that they can watch at their leisure many opportunities here to revive and improve that whole experience. So I've covered a lot here in A and that's on purpose because they're gonna appear in B and C as we dive into that as well. But hey, uh, how do you like them apples? Um, you can clearly see that being a media buyer and planner and a traffic and lead generation specialist doesn't matter 
if the office doesn't have their act together. Okay, so that's A. Uh, track B here is the same scenario, leads are coming in, but in this case, rather than going to a database, the prospects actually call the office directly. So they call the 512, 1-800, whatever, and a friendly uh, um, you know, office assistant or, or person at the front desk or even you know, the, uh, you know, the expert themselves. So if it's an accountant, the accountant picks up in a small office, that's fine. Hey, this is Bob, how can I help you, right? That's not necessarily the greatest opening either, but I'm just telling you that's how this flow in B works. So they call the office and they decide, hey, it's a good fit. I think we can help here. You wanna come in for a consultation? Great, the person at the office books that appointment with a manual calendar, and then the office visit happens, and the same thing, the service plus the upsell, right? I just put plus dollar sign here. And so that's the model there, but you know, you can clearly see with a few shorter steps here, um, but uh, the same thing needs to happen. It, the sales process needs to be vetted, verified, and created as optimum, and of course, continually improved. And I'm gonna talk about at the end here why I think one model is better than the other, but uh, let's move on to C. So C here is the same thing, leads, leads coming in. And it goes to a calendar and a database and it's all automatic. So essentially they click on an ad or find you organically, land on a page where it describes all the services, all the opportunities to help that person. And hopefully there's good copy here. I mean, we talk about sales process, that's getting right into copywriting. And uh, the person gets so inclined that they actually sign up automatically into calendar and database. The booking is done, it's completely hands off. And the office visit happens with the service plus the upsell, same thing. Only three steps in that final C model right there. Now, if you ask any professional uh, you know, owner of professional services business, again, whether it's a doctor, chiropractor, you know, med spa, uh, you know, lawyer, accountant, uh, realtor, you know, you know what I'm talking about here. High-end professional services. Well, they're gonna probably say, dude, give me C all day long, hands off. I don't have to do anything. They just show up at my office. Well, that is a model, and now I'm getting into why I think one is better than the other. That's a model that's actually really good once you have vetted that process, but you can't really start there because if you don't have any data, you're gonna spend time and money to figure that one out, right? Now, you could say, well, I agree with you, Jan, but the truth is, if you know what you're doing, uh, that model, number C, is the one that we want out the gate. That's absolutely true, but each market is different. Uh, you know, Each angle is different. Each uh, sort of approach that we take on this is different. And of course, the service itself. How do you best describe that, right? Um, and, and again, uh, when we talk about copywriting, uh, we're not gonna talk about the copywriting formulas here, but clearly, a great way to make that angle work for you is to niche it down. So you're not just, we We are an accounting firm helping everybody under the sun, come on down. Doesn't work, right? So that's uh, that's C, just to give you some ideas. Um, as I go up, I will go to B right now. That's where they the leads they call directly and uh, somebody at the office books it and then the office visit. That's one that uh, we like more, that I also like better, right? Because they're calling the office and it creates that personal connection right out the gate. However, to get them to call is gonna require more work at the front and very top of funnel. So that means you need more media, more content, more strategic uh, discussions and, and visions about how do you do that, right? Um, and that's also true for C, all of them needs that creative angle and different ways of presenting your information. Uh, but certainly you're gonna definitely spend some time vetting out the top of funnel here because you don't want just anybody calling the office at that point, right? You really want to do a good job, you know, pre-selling, pre-framing, you know, pre-vetting, if I can say that, before they call the office. That means it's gonna be a lot of work on the marketing side to get that all handled, right? So um, here's the one that uh, we like to ramp up with, and that's A. Um, it's the longer cycle, but it's the one that uh, frankly can have a better success uh, all, overall and certainly out the gate because this is the one where you drive leads to a database, right? They so come into a database through a conversion point and that can be lead forms, as I mentioned. It can also be uh, the classic, you know, 10 things you should know before hiring your next accountant to guide type thing, like through a lead magnet. And so you're really sort of building up credibility and authority through that. And of course your email list as well at that point. 
Uh, but then when you actually call back, you are a welcomed guest, not a nasty pest, right? So when you call back, hey, this is Bob, uh, Susan, uh, appreciate you downloading our guide or uh, you know coming into our system today. Uh, just wanted to reach out and see if we could help you with anything, right? And of course, different businesses here will have different pitches or scripts for this. Uh, but now uh, you can actually ask the person and they are going to almost wait for your call. We use this model. I actually use it personally also in my consulting business. And when I call back, man, it's just nice to hear people say, hey, Jan, man, how you doing? I just downloaded your guide. I just got your uh, free uh, video. I just saw your webcast, man. Yeah, let's talk. Like they're basically saying, let's talk, right? Instead of who are you? So that's a great way to uh, come in and uh, you call in and back and you're booking them. Now, that doesn't need to be you, the professional. That could be your admin or your team or whatever. But uh, essentially, you can uh, you know, give them the holistic view to your process and explain everything that needs to be happening or, or does happen, as well as, hey, we have taken care of you. You are booked. Uh, we already have a slot. Uh, we see it at 1130 is working great for us. If that works for you, uh, we got you in here. And here's a couple of things you should know before you visit, et cetera. I mean, very personal touch here, right? More work uh, as in time, hours, right? But uh, these are the clients you also want because you're, they're pre-framed and pre-vetted uh, as I said, and then when they come to the office, hey, great to see you face to face. Uh, what a great guide. What a great experience here. Appreciated the callback, et cetera, et cetera. And, and again, there's some steps in between here I haven't included, but, um, you know, things like follow up, right? Because <laughs> when they, even if you talk to them and say, hey, next Thursday at 11, sounds good. We'll see you. You don't just wait and hope they show up. You got to show up with some emails in between there. You got to show up with some follow ups. Could even be a reach out or an SMS to, you know, confirm and to, I let them know that, hey, we're here for you, right? So much more personal here, much more, uh, uh, you know, attention to details overall. So the A model is the one that we like and uh, the one that we also will be able to tune and uh, service uh, quite well because we can not only track all this, uh, which is true for all of the models, but uh, here we can get into what's actually happening and breaking where it breaks down and optimize uh, those things. And, and again, uh, true for all A, B, and C here. So anyway, I'm talking fast here because I really wanted to just get through this before my next meeting uh, happening in 10 minutes, uh, no less. But uh, hey, if you have any questions about this, uh, just go out to chaosmap.com, C-H-A-O-S-M-A-P.com. And we also have a training program that's starting next week. Uh, unbelievably so, coming up fast. Um, and uh, if you want more information, just uh, reach out and we'll get you going on that as well. Uh, and other than that, hey, uh, appreciate you coming in live on the Media and Marketing Podcast. Uh, love all your questions and feedback. And I've gotten some great reviews. If you'd like to review on iTunes as well, please go there, subscribe, and give a quick review. Uh, an honest review is always good, right? So <laughs> thanks again and have a great day, evening, or night. Yawn out. See you guys.